Hey Ashley and guys, today is uh, March the 2nd, 2018, and I'm going to just try to ramble a little bit here on a topic that Ashley drew my attention to, and that is about um, caring for a box turtle and if a box turtle is a pet or if a box turtle is a and a reptile that we need to be careful with. So I just want to um, cover this topic that maybe I should have been more in depth with other videos about taking a turtle in out of the wild. I 100% do not recommend taking a turtle in out of the wild. They are a wild reptile and they deserve the opportunity to be in the wild. Now, I didn't realize that Sparky maybe could have survived, even though he had a dangling foot and he had issues and he had damage to his shell, his upper shell, his carpus. Um, by rights, I really think I probably should have let him be and let him go for it and try to survive even under the conditions, you know, with his foot. Because of what I put him through, um, I put him through a lot, trying to do for him and try to get things right. And I don't want to go into all of the details of all the mistakes because I would be here all night talking to you guys. But it's not like having a pet. There's not a remotely like having a pet. We had a dog, and you just put the food in front of the dog, and you put the water down, and you don't have to, you know, do all the things you do with a turtle. You have to entice them, and, and some of them are picky eaters, and then they only want live feeders the way Sparky does, and, and there's just a lot of stress on the turtle, a lot of stress on the turtle, or try to take care of the turtle. And they are an exotic reptile. They're an exotic wild reptile. And they have special needs. And the needs that they, the things that they need, people don't realize. They just take them in out of the wild and they think they can just stick them in a box or, or stick them in a tiny terrarium where they have no room to hardly move around. And they live in misery. They're, they're, a, they're, captive they're they're in this horrendous condition and and sparky we we started out having him on the floor on um you know i put down substrate on um top of a pond liner and all sorts of things and then and then we put him in an 18 by 36 terrarium which was way too small and people do that they stick them in these tiny little glass terrariums and and Sparky was miserable and what he's got now he's got a three foot by eight foot I believe and I have like a couple hundred or more videos on Sparky on all sorts of things and Here's another thing. You can't, if you try to travel with a turtle, you will be miserable and your turtle will be miserable. And you're not going to be able to find anybody that truly wants to take care of your turtle or even knows how to take care of your turtle. And, and, and you know, so you have to travel with your turtle and wherever you go and, and, and what we have gone through, um, through the sickness that I have dealt with and and traveling and being sick and trying to round up everything for a turtle i mean it guys you have no clue when you take a turtle in from the wild you know what they're going to need and and people make all kinds of mistakes which i have done i have made tons of mistakes and i made a mistake again with sparky thinking you know well he he wanted out of his terrarium so i had him on my lap a lot of times we'll just sit there as much as 20 minutes and but i had an accident and i turned my head away just for a second and he bit me you know and and i had put my hand up you know to protect him while i looked away for a second while lp my husband was talking to me and that's all it took. And, 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 and it, the pay, it's very painful if they bite you. And I 100% do not recommend 
for parents to let kids have turtles, you know, and not, you know, know how to care for them. And then, then there is so many horror stories that I've heard. They, you know, the parents let the, the, the kid have the turtle and then the, tur the kid don't know how to take care of the turtle. The parent doesn't know how to take care of the turtle. And I just don't even want to go all over all this. They are a wild reptile. And they can, and they do bite. And um, I just don't think it's a good idea. And, and I took Sparky in because of ignorance, because of stupidity. And I didn't give him that option. I took away the option of freedom. And you just picture yourself that somebody today takes your freedom away and sticks you in a cage or sticks as some people sticks them in a cage you know and don't even have sides and don't have um, substrate don't have moist substrate and stick them in a box and 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 have newspapers or rags or whatever and and can you imagine a wild animal being stuck in a box and, and some people, they, I mean, I let Sparky out of his three foot by eight foot terrarium when he wants out. I, I check on him often when he wants out, I let him out so he can walk around. But that is a small pleasure in comparison to turtles being able to be in the wild and smell the fresh air. And of course, Sparky has an outside pen. You know, I let him out in the summertime. Um, but in the winter time, they have instincts wanting to hibernate. And people don't know how to hibernate a turtle. I don't know how to hibernate a turtle. I would, I'd be scared to death to try it. And people, the turtles quit eating, and they are listless because it's not warm enough, and, and then they, they die, they starve to death, and all sorts of things, guys, because we don't know what their needs are. We will never know all their needs. Um, so they're not pets, guys. It doesn't matter if you've had them 25 years and you consider them a pet and you consider them warm and fuzzy and you want to snuggle them. They are a wild reptile. And they can and they do bite. I can attest to it. And when they bite, they can leave you with a three-corner tear or a, like a cut that's quite painful. Um, so I hope I've made myself clear, you know, on this. You know, I made a mistake taking Sparky and I took his freedom away. I feel it in my heart every day when I see him in his three foot by eight foot terrarium. That's not what he wants. He would much rather, even if he would have died a day later, he would have been free, you know? And then people bring him in and then they think they can just put him outside in the middle of winter. They decide, oh, don't want him. Stick him outside in the winter. And then they got to try to dig down and survive real quick. And then most likely they'll die doing that. So if you make a mistake and bring them in, uh, then, and you decide you don't want them, at least wait till it's warm enough outside for them in the spring to let them go and find a place to hibernate or finish their hibernation or whatever. Um, but a lot of them die when you bring them in. It's just a miracle Sparky lived through me not knowing what I was doing. He nearly starved to death. You know, I could just go on and on, you know, of my mistakes. I didn't keep him warm enough. And, and they'll be listless. They'll droop their head down. They're a cold-blooded reptile. So they're going to go into this, what people think are, that they're hibernating. But what they are doing is they're dying. You know, they can't hibernate um, if the, if the um, temperature is 60 degrees in the house and they quit eating. 
they have it has to be around 45 or so for them to completely go into hibernation in the wild where they have chosen to dig down and spend the winter uh, and I don't want to get into the hibernation thing that I don't know anything about but sometimes they'll move and have to find a better place where it's maybe more moist, maybe a little sun, whatever. But we all make mistakes. And anybody that thinks they don't, they're not living on this planet. Either they're not old enough to have made a big enough mistake, or the mistake's just around the corner. But we all have to face the fact that we're all going to make mistakes when we're caring for a box turtle an exotic wild reptile. So I'm sure nobody's gonna listen to this till the end, but I'm trying to make it clear, you know, because Ashley made it a point that I'm not doing my job, that I'm not making it clear enough. You don't take a turtle in out of the wild unless they are in dire straits. And then the best thing is to turn them over to um, a rehab person that knows what they're doing, you know, that they can take care of them until they get well so they can be released back into the wild. So, guys, um, I hope I've covered it enough. If I haven't covered it enough, please let me know, and I'll try again. That's it, guys.